Okay, everyone, uh, welcome to class, uh, to the Safe Water Nursing Foundation's master class. I wanted to open up by giving a special guest some time to give you some words of encouragement and to welcome you to your first day of class. So go ahead. Uh, good, good morning. morning. Uh, my, my name, name is Luis Figueroa. Figueroa. I'm, I'm Lloyd as you know. You know. And uh, I'm very proud of all of you of joining this nursing class. One thing that we should all know and you should know as a nurse is that when you become a nurse or when you are trying to become a nurse, you are giving all yourself. The nursing field is a very unselfish field. I've been in nursing uh, since 1977. I've been everywhere. I've done a little bit of everything. And the joy of doing this, when you're doing nursing, you are giving of yourself. As a human being, you place everyone before you. Of course, you have to take care of yourself because you can't help somebody else if you are not well yourself. So that's number one. You take care of yourself, be good to yourself, be in good spirits, and do everything that you can to be healthy. And then you could give everything to someone else. But like I say, I'm very proud of you because becoming a nurse is you giving all your life to somebody else so somebody could be okay. All right? So I don't know. It's so much to say, but it's the main thing that I can tell you that you are an unselfish person if you want to become a nurse because you know that from the beginning you are going to be giving, not receiving. The receiving that you will get is internal, in your heart, in your mind. The joy and satisfaction that you were able to help someone that was in need. And that should give you the greatest satisfaction in the world. Thank you. Thank you. Can you guys You're welcome. give my hand? Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Figueroa, and uh, we will talk with you soon. Have a great day. You're Thank welcome. You. Have a wonderful, great first day. Bye-bye. So I, how, how are you doing, everybody? Do you still remember me? No, not live, but not as me. <laughs> OK. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm just preparing to go to work. Just imagine I came yesterday. Today, I'm ready. I'm, I have to leave in, in the next five minutes. So. Um, yeah, I don't want to say welcome to the class and um, be smart, be respectful, be humble, and do whatever you do to learn. Not, this is just the beginning. You see, it might be strict, but don't take it as granted. Because in America, we have to be strict to become a nurse because we cannot save lives. You know that, right? Saving life is the matter. So we're not going to go at the other way around. When we say this, this is this. So make sure you come on time. 11 o'clock, it's 11 o'clock. Do you hear me? So make sure it's 11 o'clock, 11. Otherwise, Loyola is going to close the door. All right, so I just want to say good luck and be respectful and behave good. Um, I might not be coming frequently. Now I'm heading for work. So I'm going to talk to you as time goes. I don't know when I'm going to see you again. But just be uh, as you are. And uh, I, I love that because we come together and try to be somebody in the society. I'm happy and I'm blessed to talk to you. And thank you for being there. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of Loira. It's very, she's very strict, but she love you. She always said that. 
You okay? All right, so thank you. So I have to go. Bye bye. All right, everyone. So we're going to get started. And I'm just going to be using this microphone so that the recording can come through clearly. Everyone will have access to this recording. Every class, you will be able to watch it and practice and anything that you may have missed you'll be able to rewatch it again. So I think that's gonna be really nice uh, for you guys and you can keep that forever. Yeah. So first things first, some housekeeping. So please make sure that you turn off your phones that you are, or put them on vibrate so that you can not be distracted by anyone on the outside world. We're only gonna be here for uh, 50 more minutes. So uh, whatever's happening out there can wait because what's happening here is really going to be beneficial for your future career as a nurse. And we're really, really excited. I'm really excited to have you all here. And I appreciate each and every one of you for showing up on time and prepared and uh, turning in your homework, which I will be having the privilege to read and get to know more about each and every one of you. and you know, your desires and your goals. Um, so like I said, welcome to the Safe Water Nursing Foundations Masterclass. The main theme of this masterclass is cultivating excellence in patient care. Do you understand what that means to cultivate something? Anybody? Cultivate is to start to rise something when it is little. Mm -hmm. That's what the mean of cultivating. Yes, yes. So cultivating excellence in the way that we care for our patients. And that's what we're going to be doing. We are like small farmers planting seeds and really nurturing and caring for that plant. And that's our, the plant and the seed is our patient, right? So welcome, welcome. All right, so our session one, as you guys can see in your syllabus, um, we printed those out for you, so make sure you keep those. Um, feel free to bring them to class every week. That way you'll be able to see and, and prepare for each lesson. It shows the date, so you'll know, you'll be able to see ahead what's going on and, and how to be prepared. So we'll be discussing a short, brief introduction to the American nursing model and understanding the significance of following international nursing standards. Okay. So I wanna do a little welcome and a little introduction of myself again. Uh, my name is Madame Loida y Figueroa. And as you met my father, Luis Fernando Figueroa, um, he comes from a country called Dominican Republic. Do you, any of you know where that country is or have you heard of it? Okay, well, it's it's right next to Haiti, the Caribbean islands. Yes, a be very beautiful place. So my father is from there, and my mother is from El Salvador. Um, and as you can see in the photos, this is a little bit about my family. Um, so there, on starting from the left, you see uh, in the middle is myself and my husband, Bruce Rochester. And then on the on your left, you'll see my children, my three beautiful children, Daniel, Layla, and Jackson, uh, ages from four to 10. And then on the right, you'll see uh, my husband's children, uh, Junia and Bruce the third, who are ages 16 and 21. So we're a big family. And one of the things that we love to do is we love to travel the world and we love to give back to communities, um, doing humanitarian things and building businesses, teaching others, um, doing motivational speaking, coaching, all of those things. So I mean, we're very excited to, um, you know, help the world in, in all of these different ways. Um, I am originally born in the U.S., in Washington state, which is close to California. Do you guys know where California is? <laughs> um, Hollywood. 
Uh, but I, I was born in Washington State, and then I moved across the country to Maryland and then lived in Delaware. So Delaware is close to like where New York is and Washington, D.C. and all of that. So that's I consider that my hometown. It's a very small town. And our current president, the president of the United States, is from my, my state where I'm from. So, yes, yes, very, very cool. Um, and my educational background is I um, got my bachelor's degree in business administration with entrepreneurship and uh, management. So I'm very big on business and I know all the ins and outs there needs to know about business. I have my own companies. I have a seasoning company, Spanglish. Um, and I'm currently actively in my second semester of my master's degree program, studying Maharishi Ayurveda and integrative medicine. So what I do and what Patrick does goes hand in hand because what I'm learning is integrative medicine, which means I focus more on the natural holistic side of medicine. So for example, uh, yoga, meditation, um, eating nu nutritional foods, um, using herbal remedies in order to help bring balance to a person's physiology. And so as an Ayurvedic practitioner, what I do is I work hand in hand with the doctors, the nurses, in order to help the patient overall have a well-being, well-balance in their life. So that's what I'm currently studying. So any questions so far? No? Okay, well, <laughs> so we're going to open up with an icebreaker. Who knows what an icebreaker is? No? Okay, so, you know, ice is very hard, right? Yeah. It's solid. So sometimes when the atmosphere in a, a, a meeting or an event or a class, it always starts hard. So we break the ice. So that was an icebreaker. When we create an activity, we do something to break the ice and get everybody relaxed and feeling calm and ready to learn. So we're going to play a game and we're going to start from this side and it's going to be a name game. So this way we can practice getting to know our names. Okay. So what you're going to do is the first person will say their name, their, their, their name. Just your first name, <laughs> because everybody has long names here. <laughs> and then you're going to tell me a favorite body part. It could be inside or outside. Okay. Then the next person is going to repeat the name and the body part. And then you are going to give your name and the body part. Number three will say number one's name, number one's body part, number two's name, number two's body part, and then you will give your name and your body part like this, like this. So it's like a memory game, okay? Are you guys, and then you will be last. You'll be first and you will be last. Oh my God. So that the last one has to say all of it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay, oh, should I start? <laughs> okay, I will be first and I will be last. Okay, whoo. So my name is Loida, and my favorite body part is the throat. Oh, hold it. My name is Zainab. Uh, you have to say my name first. Her okay. name is Lloyd. Okay, okay, okay. Her favorite part is the throat. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Her name is Loida. Her favorite part of her body is the truth. My name is Zainab. My favorite part of my body is my nose. Okay. <laughs> her name is Loida. His favorite part of his body is, is the throat. Her name is Zainab. The f his favorite part of his body is the nose. My name is Swara. My favorite part <laughs> is the breast. 
<laughs> her name is Loida. Her favorite part of the body is the throat. Her name is Zainab. Her favorite favorite part of the body is the nose. Her name is Wara. Her favorite part of the body is the breast. My name is Adama. My favorite part of the body is the head. Okay. Her name is Loida. Her favorite part of her body is the throat. Her name is Zainab. Her favorite part of her body is the nose. Her name is Wara. Her favorite part of her body is the what? The breast. Okay. What about you? Your name is uh, Adama. Her favorite part of her body is what? Head. Okay. My name is Maria too. My favorite part of my body is my mouth. Okay. <laughs> her name is Loida. Her favorite part is the throat. Her name is Zainab. Her favorite part is the, the nose. Her name is Wara. Her favorite part is the breast. Her name is Adama, her favorite part is the breast, the head, the head. Her name is Mariatu, her favorite part is the mouth. My name is Memunatu, my favorite part is the eye. Oh, nice. <laughs> her name is Florence. Florence, okay. Her name is Florence. Loera, our favorite part is the neck, the throat. Her name is Zainab, our favorite part is the nose. Her name is Wara, our favorite part is the breast. Her name is Zainab, Adama, our favorite part is the head. Her name is Maria, Mariatu, our favorite part is the mouth. Her name is Memunatu, our favorite part is the, the eyes. My name is Aminata. My favorite part is the high bro. Okay. <laughs> Her name is Loreda. Her favorite part of the body is the throat. Her name is Dainab. Her favorite part of the body is the nose. Her name is Wara. Her favorite part of the body is the breast. Her name is Adama. Her favorite part of the body is the head. Her name is Maria too. Her favorite part of the body is the oh, mouth. Wow, Her name oh, is what? Memna too. Her favorite part of the body is what? The eye. Her name is Aminata. Her favorite part of the body is the eye. My name is Maria too. My favorite part of the body is my face. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I think we might have to do this every class. <laughs> okay. My name is Loida. My favorite. Oh, do I say my name? Yeah. Oh, okay. And my favorite part of the body is the throat. Her name is Zainab. Her favorite part of the body is the nose. Her name is Wada. Her favorite part of the body is the breast. Yeah. <laughs> Her name is Adama. Her favorite part of the body is the head. Yeah. Her name is Maria too. Her favorite part of the body is the mouth. Yeah. Her name is Memunatu. Mm -hmm. Her favorite part of the body is the eyes. Yeah. Her name is Aminata. Uh -huh. Her favorite part of the body is the eyebrows. Uh -huh. And her name is Maria too. Her favorite part of the body is the face. <laughs> okay. Wow. Did you guys like that? Yeah. Uh, see, it broke the ice. Yeah. Icebreaker. Yeah. So now I want you, anything that you learn here, we are always learning, you can take that to another part of your life. If you're ever in a position to teach someone or teach a group of people, you can use that game 
to break the ice. It's called an icebreaker activity. Okay, that was fun. Yeah. Great. All right, so let's get into it. So the first uh, part we will be talking about in this session is the American nursing model. Okay, so who can read this, this section in the white box? Can anybody? Adama? The nursing model stresses of, sorry, a cause of both and physical and emotion. Okay. The nurse's model stresses a force on both and physical and emotional needs of a patient, not only treating the symptoms, but also seeking to identify any outside influences on health and provide care and recommendations for create a healthier lifestyle of the patient. Mm -hmm. Thank you, very good. Yes, yes, great, great. Yes, you can clap for each other. Yes. So who can tell me, what do they think about this? Or do you have any questions about this that you may not understand or that's not clear? The nursing model stresses a focus on both the physical and emotional needs of a patient, not only treating the symptoms, but also seeking to identify any outside influences on health and provide care and recommendations to create a healthier lifestyle for a patient. So I'll give you an example. If somebody comes to you and says, oh my goodness, I have this cough that won't go away and it only happens when I'm at home. For some reason, every time I go home and I'm at home all day, I have this weird cough. But when I leave my home during, when I go to work or when I go to the store, I don't have this cough, I'm fine. So what this is saying is not just saying, oh, well, I'm gonna give you something for your cough. As a nurse, we have to ask questions to understand where this issue is coming from, right? So what question do you think you could ask that patient? Dana? For how long have you been coughing? And have you been taking treatment for that? Okay, that's a good question. Anyone else have a question that you could ask a patient? When you are coughing, how do you feel? Mm -hmm, that's is, good. is your body hot? Vomiting? Yes. What symptoms? Yes. What symptoms do you have with the cough? Anyone else? I have a good one. How about what's going on at home when you go to your house? Do you have any uh, uh, air fresheners or some kind of smoke in the house? Does anybody smoke at home? Because I would want to know what is in the environment, what is in the air inside of that person's home that could be causing the cough. You know, sometimes some people live in houses that have mold or houses where there's always smoke. Maybe they have a, a fire stove kitchen or something, you know, and maybe the, they are sensitive to that. So from there, we can now... What does the quote say? We can help give recommendations to create a healthier lifestyle, a healthier uh, uh, recommendation. So maybe we can say, well, have you considered cooking outside of the house, not burning anything inside of the house? You know, so that would be an example of that. Oh. And one more question. Why do you think this is important? Why do you think the American nursing model is important? The model that says, don't just seek to treat the symptoms, but seek to find out 
what is influencing, what is affecting the patient. Asking those questions. Why do you think this model, this style of engaging with your patient is important? Who can tell me? Can you imagine if we were in a, in a clinic and anytime someone comes, they say, I have a headache. So I say, okay, here's medicine for your headache. Right? Okay, bye, see you later. Or somebody comes in and says, oh, I have this pain. Okay, here's some medicine for your pain. Have a nice day. Does that work? No. So why is it this American nursing model is a good idea? Why does this work better? Because what do you think? As, as a nurse, you have to interact with your patients, encourage her or him, ask, so ask him or her some questions to know what's really, what is really um, happening in his or her body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you have to encourage, smile, give that nurse, give that patient a smiley face, ask him or her questions. Mm -hmm. Very good. Were you gonna say something? Okay. <laughs> Very good, you guys. Anyone else want to add to that? Maybe some patients come to the hospital in different cases. So when he or she reports to you, you have to ask he or she what is the main problem. The role of the nurse now, you are going to do a lab test or check her or he to know what is the main problem. You are not going to give a medication to a patient without know the main problem in her body. Mm -hmm. So you have to check or do lab test to know what is the main problem. Yes, very good. Great job, everyone. Great. Okay, so the next part we will discuss is the international nursing standards. So does anyone understand that title? International Nursing Standards. Okay, so who would like to read this, this part? Okay, Maria too. International Nursing Standards are Godliness, guidelines. guidelines and principles, principles established to ensure a constant level of equality and safety in nursing practice worldwide. These standards provide a framework for nurses frameworks for nursing to deliver acceptably <laughs> ethical and cultural sensitive cares. Several organizations contribute to the development of international nursing standards. Here are some key contributions and accepts of international nursing standards. Yes, very good reading. Thank you, Maria, too. Yes. So we're going to take this bit by bit, okay? I want everyone to understand. And if you don't know something, it's that is okay. No one, no one has to pretend to be perfect and know all of the answers because we are all learning together, okay? We are a family, so we help each other. So let's start with the first part. International nursing standards are guidelines and principles that are established, meaning that are created to make sure that there is a consistent 
level of quality, meaning we don't want this one over here is uh, not so good quality. This one over here is very good quality. This one in the middle, eh, maybe so, maybe not. No, consistent level means all consistent, all across the board, all, everyone can be on the same level of providing a level of quality and safety in nursing practices all over the world. Okay, so the standards that we will be discussing in the next slide are going to be examples of what is expected all across the world. So they, there are different organizations that want, that they spend most of their time working to ensure that nursing standards are the same all over the world. So obviously that can be very challenging, right? We have high standards in one country, low standards in another country, maybe so, maybe not in a different country. But the international nursing standards are working to make sure that we try to bring everyone to a same level of providing that quality and safety within the nursing practices all over the world. Okay, so these standards provide a framework. Who knows what a framework is? What does that mean, framework? Anybody? Or you guys, you don't know what that is. That's okay. So a framework, what that means, if you think about a frame, right? Like a picture frame. There's a picture frame there with Dr. Patrick Kamara, our founder and CEO for Safe Water. So do you see how there is a frame? You know, that is a picture frame, right? So the picture is being held by the frame. So when you have, if there is no frame, the picture can bend, it might get wrinkled, right? But when you put a frame around it, it keeps it in place. You can move it around, but it doesn't change. It stays like that. So it's like another word for framework would be template. A template. T E M M P L A T E. That's another word that means framework, a template a guide, an outline. So everybody around the world needs to follow the framework, the template of the nursing practices. And the question is why? Why do we have to follow this framework? Well, it says, so that nurses can deliver, what does that mean? So nurses can deliver, deliver. So nurses can give, can deliver. Effective, effective means very effective. It works. Functional, thank you, Maria Tu. Yes that nurses can deliver functional, ethical, do we know ethical? Ethical, ethics, that means doing things right. You know, it would not, it would not be ethical, you know, when you are taking a patient's, you're checking their, their blood level, right? Their sugar levels, and you prick them with blood. Is it ethical for me to use the same machine on a different patient after using it on another patient without cleaning it and sterilizing it? That's not ethical. But if I sterilize my tools, my instruments, you know, 
then that is ethical. That's following ethics. Or is it ethical that while I have a patient waiting in the office to see the doctor, while they're waiting, maybe I sit there with them and I take off my shoes and I sit like this and I start eating something and on the phone. Oh, the doctor will be right with you, okay, ma'am? Oh, yeah, so last time, da 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 da, da. Is that ethical? No, right. So that's what that means, ethical. So the standards provide a framework, a template, so that nurses can deliver, can give effective, ethical, and culturally sensitive care. Who knows what that means? Who can take a guess? of what it means to be culturally sensitive. Just take a guess, no wrong answers. Culturally, culture, culture, and sensitive. What's the first thing that you think of? You can say anything, even if you say coconut, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> So culturally sensitive, culturally sensitive. Okay, I will pick Adama. What do you think that means? Culturally sensitive. Like my own understanding, like the word culture means the way of life of people. That will help, help you to know about, you, we have sensitive, thinking of the way of life of people. Yes, exactly. Give Adam a hand. Yes. Did you guys hear what she said? She said, culture, meaning the way of life. Yes, the way of life of people and being sensitive. Sensitive to that. Because the patients that you treat, they will not all be from the same town. You might see somebody from any part of the world. Anybody from the, from the whole world is welcome to visit Safe Water Medical Center. So you never know. You might have to treat someone from India, from the US, from Freetown, from Ghana. You never know. But always being culturally sensitive. You know, maybe asking some questions like we learned earlier. What could be a question that you could ask? You can be curious to ask if you meet someone that looks like they're from a different place. What could be the first question you ask them? Say that again. Where are you coming from? Yes. Yes, very good. Hi. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Um... Mr. Kamara, uh, where are you from? Oh, well, uh, I'm from Liberia and I heard about coming here. Someone invited me, so I wanted to get checked. Oh, well, that's great. How are things in Liberia? This is a great nurse practice, you know, building rapport. Write that word down, R-A. P, P, R, A, P, R, okay, I will start again, R, A, P, P, O, R, T. It looks like report, but it's pronounced rapport. Mm -hmm. Rapport. Building rapport with your patients. Mm -hmm. I will say it again. Okay. R. And next time I will find a marker to have to be able to write on a board for you guys. Building rapport. Yes. Yeah. Building rapport with your patient.
Yeah, building rapport with your patient. So that is an example of that. You don't want to be dry. You don't want to keep the ice frozen. Remember icebreaker? Yeah. We don't want to keep the ice frozen when we meet our patient. Yeah. We want to break the ice and build rapport. Oh, hey, Mr. Kamaro, welcome. So nice to see you. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from Liberia. Wow, that's so cool. I haven't been there. What's it like there? Oh, such and such. Great. Well, it's really nice to see you. So, um, tell me, what are you going? What's going on with you today? Uh, why are? You, what brings you in? What brings you into our clinic today? Right. That feels nice. That feels warm. We melt the ice. Not like this. Okay, Mr. Kamara. Uh. Go ahead and sit right there. Um, so why are you here? What's wrong? Oh, oh, you have a headache? Okay. All right, let me take your temperature. Let me check your pulse. All right, one second. Uh, the doctor will be with you, okay? Ugh. Nah, does that feel good? No. Oh, but, okay. Maria, too, you are Mr. Kamara, okay? Oh, hi, Mr. Kamara, how are you? Good, welcome to the Safe Water Medical Center. Um, so tell me, where are you from? Oh, wow, Port Loco, very nice, very nice. Uh, anything new happening? Anything new? Okay, okay. The weather, the weather has been really hot here, hasn't it? Oh my goodness, it's like I'm sweating, but it's okay. It'll be a great day today, right, Mr. Kamara? Yeah, all right. Well, so tell me, um, why are you here today? And then you let them talk, you listen, right? So that, that he's gonna feel very good, very, very good. So we always, Always, the international nursing standards want us to make sure that we are consistent in providing a high level of quality. That we, have, we are following a framework to deliver effective, ethical, and culturally sensitive care. And there are several organizations that contribute to the development of international nursing standards. Here are those organizations, okay? So I'm going to give you a list of all of the organizations that are focused. It is their job to make sure that all the nurses all over the world are following this type of standard, okay? So let's look. Okay, so we have the World Health Organization. Are you guys familiar with that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They play a crucial role in establishing global health guidelines, including those related to nursing. They focus on promoting health equity, patient safety, and evidence-based practices. Then we have the International Council of Nurses, the International Standards Organization, International Nursing Organizations, and remember, you will have this copy, the National Nursing Boards and Associations, regulatory bodies, educational institutions like this one, patient-centered care, cultural competence, collaboration, and interprofessionalism, okay? And all of these different organizations, and there are many others, they focus on making sure, all right, how are our nurses doing? How are our nurses treating the patients around the world, okay? Okay, guys, so what did you think of that, uh, that poem that you watched? Can someone give me one thing that stood out to them the most? What did it make you think about yourself, 
about your uh, uh, future as a nurse, what did it make you think? Aminata? Yeah. Once more again, Aminata Lumbuya. As for me, I think I want to be a good road model in my community to help and save the life of the people. Most of the people who live in our community, some of them, they don't know about health. They like to do to go to their cultural, traditional way. But as for me, I intend to be a nurse so that will lead my people to come to the medical department so that we can be a helper. That's why I intend to be a nurse, to be a good role, role model mm -hmm. in my community. Great. Yes. What about you, Maria, too? <laughs> no thoughts? Okay. <laughs> Wara or Memunatu or Zena? Yes, yes, no, to serve humanity. Ah. Maria, too, wants to speak now. To serve humanity and the community as a whole. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Great. One more person. <laughs> okay, Wara. To empower our women and capitalize. Great, great. Oh, okay. Now, <laughs> yeah. The body parts are awakening. <laughs> yeah, to love and care for our patients when treating them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Yeah, becoming a nurse will provide me. To know, to learn and grow throughout my career. Yes, great, great, great. So, uh, thank you guys for that. And we have just a few minutes, so I'm gonna discuss our session for next week. Uh, we will be discussing professional behavior and character traits. Mm hmm. That's on your syllabus. It's on your syllabus. Mm -hmm. Session two for next week, there will be an emphasis on discipline, personal hygiene, and honesty. And number two, the importance of integrity, humility, and politeness in nursing. So this is going to be a really, really fun class next week. I have some great surprises yeah. for you. So again, I cannot wait to see you guys again. Does anybody have any questions? No? Well, that's fine. Um, you, uh huh? Yes, uh, Madam Leda. That, that um, writing you first show us on the computer, are you going to send it in the group so we can overread it? So we yes. can read it again? Yes, I will send all of this. All of this. Yes, yeah. exactly. Very good. Yes, yes you will one. have all of those resources available. Okay. okay. I know, I trust you. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So thank you guys so much. And that's all, that's all we have for today. So give yourselves a hand. You did a great job. Great first class. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome to... Uh, Enjoy lunch. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. I will see you guys next week. Okay, thank you. Yes, my pleasure. Yeah.